straight cruising Headed for bruising Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow What's up, my tubesters? We're back to do the mudding and the taping. And if you have no idea what that is, basically the mudding and the taping are the two things that are going to get away all of the holes and all of the lines and everything. And it's going to look like a wall. We're doing that today. I have no idea how to do it. Classic. No idea. <laughs> I mean, I have an idea, obviously. I've done my research. I've done plenty of YouTube searching to figure out how to do this. My first time ever doing it is on the biggest project I've ever done. Let's just hope it goes as good as everything else is gone. Obviously, I still need to cut out holes for the uh, TV mount and for the fireplace. Once I get a knife that I'm waiting for my neighbor to get to me, then I'm going to do that. But for now, we're gonna just do all the parts that I can do up till then because I only figured this out literally today, but I need to do three layers of it. So it is going to take like three days, which kind of sucks. That's what we have to do. So in the meantime, when I'm doing the drywall, <sighs> I might try and also paint the walls in the living room as, along with it because I just am so sick of this color on the back wall. If you have been with me for a long time, I did lime wash and it's only on the back wall and then like a little bit on the side here. And I'm just like, I want the entire room to be the same color now. So I'm going to pick a color. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going with oyster white. It's just a very like neutral, like off white that doesn't really have too much yellow, kind of has like a little bit of like a green undertone. I've also ordered plaster that I'm going to be putting on the fireplace. So I'm going to be plastering the fire fireplace very similar to the coffee table that we have. Yeah, and then the last thing to the fireplace after plaster is the mantle. And I'm still trying to decide if I want the mantle to be a real piece of wood or if I want to make my own. So we're on, we're on the hunt for something like that. Okay, my neighbor actually just came by with the knife. So I'm gonna see. Editing Brooke here. This is not how you cut drywall, okay? If you have like an electric cutter, like drill thing that's literally meant for this, use it. If you know someone that has it, use it. If you know that someone will do it for you, do that instead. This is not the appropriate way. This is like the last option I had. Please do not think that this is what I thought you should do. I just had no other option and it was already up on the wall so I had nothing else to cut it with. So this is not the best way to do it, but just wanna preface that. Okay, thanks, bye. How this goes, I might actually get. just laughing like looking back at these videos now i just it just makes me giggle because this is just so not right but it worked but it's just so not right <laughs> all right we have our fireplace hole now you guys can like kind of visualize how big that's going to be. You can see the lines for the TV, but remember this is for the TV mount. We have like, I think it's 60 inch. Too big if you ask me, <laughs> but the, Morgan would say too small. What the heck? This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can catch one. It just got like really cold and this wind came through and it actually thundered and now it's like snowing. <laughs> It's really cold. Holy crap. Wow. I know, Cherry. What's going on? Yeah, little, like, little pieces of snow. This is so strange. Like, there's just like this big dark cloud over us, but then there's sun poking out over there. Come on in. Yeah, it's not nice in there. Not nice out there. You got stuff all over you. You got snow all over you. There we go. I feel like that gives you guys so much more of a visual of the magnitude of how tall this wall is and where our TV and fireplace are going to be. So now I'm going to start the mudding because I've talked about it so much now. Um, oh, I need to screw the plywood into those two by fours before I do anything else. I just want to 
to show you guys the reality of learning something new for the first time. So obviously I am currently mudding. Taping is like making sure that like the seams are just not seen and then it's like a flawless wall. And my first time, I did it and I didn't do a very good job at it. So I'm redoing it. I'm doing it all over again. I feel like I was pretty disappointed in myself that I didn't get the first time and I was like, Brooke, you've never done this before. So if you're trying something for the first time and you don't do it the first time, who gives a shit? Like, you get to try again. As long as you have the supplies, you're good to go. So, I'm going to try again. Let's see how this goes. That looks so much better already than what I did before. So, second time the charm, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm just giggling because like, I just always get myself in these situations where I think I can do stuff. I mean, obviously I have to practice, but like, this is the first part of the project where I've been like, not that good, Brooke. Not that good at all. It's not terrible. Like, it's not going to ruin the project, but I have watched numerous videos on how to tape and mud drywall, and I am not even close to where professionals are, obviously, but I think I could have done a little bit better, but as I was doing it and I was trying to get it so perfect and so good, I was like, I actually don't want it to be perfect and so good. I've seen a lot of people that are doing the finish that I'm doing, like the concrete plaster, and they actually just use plywood. They don't drywall their, their fireplaces. So I could have actually done plywood and would have been completely fine because then I would have just taken the plaster and put it right over. I know for a fact that it didn't need to be done with drywall and the drywall also doesn't have to be perfect because I want it to look natural. I want it to have its errors. Like I want it to look like messy. Like I want it to look like concrete. I'm not that worried about it because of that factor, which has made me feel so much better about it. But I'm still like, ooh. It's not my best work, so maybe drywall is just not for me. That was my test. I need to uh, like let that dry down to it's like probably a full 20 hour, 24 hours. Tomorrow around noon, we can start and put a second layer on because I have to sand it down and then depending on if I think it looks good, I'll probably just keep it at the two layers, but sometimes people do three. But enough rambling. Hey people, remember how I was saying how I didn't know if I wanted to have a beam, like a do a DIY beam or if I wanted to go buy a beam? Well, I made the decision because I went to, on Facebook Marketplace and found somebody who redoes beams. I'm sorry, I'm eating a muffin right now. But well, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is like apparently almost 200 years old. All of these are like real because when they would actually chop it, they'd use axes. So those are all the like marks from an ax. And the coloring is actually really nice. Like it looks a little yellowy, which it is a little yellowy, which I'm going to, I'm gonna test it a few stains on the back because this side's the back with the crack. I'll just try and show you guys the front. Yeah, this is the front. And so like, look how beautiful that's going to be. It's so freaking nice. So yeah, I'm so happy I got that. I'm so happy with it. So it's about four and a half by like a little bit longer here, which I kind of like. I think I'm going to keep it where this is the face and this is the top. Just keep it nice and thin. I don't want it to be protruding too much. I actually thought I wanted it to be six inches, but I think, I think six inches out would be way too much. So this looks really good. Like these knots are beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. 
It's gonna look so freaking good. All right, I'm home, here to end the video, but I just thought I would show you guys something quickly that I'm going to be putting that beam up with. The person that I got the beam from, it was just this lovely little family. The wife was the one who I contacted on Facebook, and then it was the husband, and he was the one who was like actually out working on tons of other beams that they had. Like they had all different lengths, all different widths, all different looks, all different colors. I was like, damn, it's from the 1800s. It's actually a home in the valley that was torn down because it was so old and it's all reclaimed beams from there so I was like damn I love that I cuz I'm from the valley and I thought that was just a cute little little feature about it so he told me to get one of these things it says a picture hanging system why does it say picture hanging system I'm gonna look that up and see what I got on Amazon my orders my account Okay, it is the right thing. It's called a French cleat. And basically, you just kind of put a piece onto the beam and then a piece onto the wall or wherever you want to put it. And then, I'm silly. I'm silly, I'm silly, I'm silly. I need another one of these. I gotta order another one. Not your finest work, Brooke, but that's okay. This is what happens. Like, this is what I'm doing all the time off camera. Like, I have to mentally see it, then I have to do the math, then I have to see how I'm going to put the beam up, what part of the frame I'm going to attach it to. So that's what I just did because I realized that the middle of the fireplace doesn't have a 2 by 4 like a um, piece of wood for this to sit on in the middle. So I'm going to have to put this on one side and then another on the other side in order for it to attach. They're pretty cheap though. They're only like 14 bucks. They hold up to 100 pounds and that beam is not even close to 100 pounds. Probably like around like 30 to like maybe 35, 40 pounds. Anyway, that's what I did because the other way to do it, which some of you may care, some of you may not, but I was going to do like steel rod. So I would put a steel rod into the two by four that's in the fireplace and then a steel rod into the actual beam. But then the room for error is much more large. And I also would have to work with like epoxy and I'd also have to like drill holes in that are perfect. And it just, it would have been a little more work than this so if you're ever thinking about hanging anything heavy look at this it's called a french cleat very exciting vlog for you guys on thursday we already put these shelves up so you're gonna see that i'm also going to complete the sanding so that's gonna be done i'm also gonna start painting the living room so that's gonna be like a day project in itself because it's a big room and it's a lot to paint by yourself. We also went to the thrift store today. I got some things for the shelf. So very fun vlog for Thursday. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. When you do that, it really helps out my channel. Uh, don't forget to leave a little comment, share this video with your friends, anyone you think you would know, your mom, your cousin, your aunt, your dad, your brother, your sister. Peace out, thanks for watching. See you guys on Thursday.